reason why some people don't look well put together is because they're doing one or maybe even several of these 10 mistakes that I'm gonna present to you. My dear elegant ladies, welcome back to a new video. Let's dive straight into point number one, that cheapen your looks. Let's be honest here, feet do matter even if they are located somewhere down there. So when you're having cracked soles, crusty feet, or generally speaking just really hard dead skin, this little detail does leave an impression about you. So make sure you're always doing those pedicures regularly at least once per month. Number two. There is currently this trend of doing the lip liner outside of your lip line. And I think many can agree that that doesn't always look nice. Actually, oftentimes it does cheapen the appearance of someone. But I can also tell you from experience that this mistake can easily happen when you don't apply this lip liner correctly. I did this mistake recently and unfortunately enough it had to happen in one of my videos for my program The Elegant Stylist. I did not notice how I had applied my lip liner. It was so much outside of my own lip line you can see for yourself how ridiculous this looks and this is the thing that you might when you're doing your makeup think that ah but this looks really good but in reality when people see you three-dimensionally from an outer perspective than your own you can actually end up looking like that and do you know how you look in other people's eyes well that's why you need to be careful and pay attention to these tips that I'm presenting to you one major appearance killer that just downgrades everything no matter how nice of an outfit you're wearing no matter how well you did your makeup that day no matter how good you feel about yourself and you're so confident but ladies point number three if you have greasy hair then nothing else matters it just ruins everything it makes you look unhygienic actually <laughs> It makes you look dirty. I know that life happens and I know that sometimes we don't have time for our usual grooming routine. But this is why always having dry shampoo at home is going to be your best friend. And if let's say you don't have dry shampoo nearby one day, then at least put on a hat or wear a headscarf or something to cover up that grease. I mean, the best would be to just go and have a shower and wash your hair, but I know sometimes we don't have the time. But stepping outside your home with greasy hair? No, that's just a big no-no. Point number four, <laughs> I think we all have met a person or two or three in our life where they seem kind of pretty normal at first, but because, you know, their makeup is like smudged and, you know, maybe they have a bit of eye crust going on, maybe there is some remains of their eyeliner or mascara somewhere around their eye. Yes, these things happen for all of us. When we are sweaty, our eye makeup may rub off a bit on the skin. But there are some people who, they just seem not to care about these things. They simply like just leave it like that. Or they don't even pay attention to this thing that, okay, well, their mascara smudged off and they're just walking around like that a whole day. For me, the impression always leaves that this person looks a little bit like kind of reckless and crazy. It doesn't leave a positive impression. So for this reason, I do think smudged eye makeup or eye crust or a mixture of eye makeup with eye crust definitely cheapens a person's appearance. Point number five. Now this one I have to be very careful about, but I can also speak from experience. That point number five is all about not showing your hair extensions where they start. Never have this visible, ladies. But I know it's also difficult to keep it invisible at all times, because what happens, especially when the hair has grown out a little bit and your extensions are starting to age, is that it becomes easier and easier for the patch of the extensions to be visible. So let's say it's a little bit windy one day and you know, the wind blows and your hair separates. Yes, you can easily see your keratin bond or your weave, or let's say, sometimes you itch your head and you just didn't notice that you managed to itch in that particular place where you have your hair extension and you didn't kind of put your hair back. The point of the story is that you need to be conscious of these things and you need to be aware. 
I always check my head in the back before I leave my home to make sure that everything is calmed and perfectly aligned. But of course, there are never guarantees that it's gonna stay like that with me the whole day. So these mistakes can happen even for those who really do pay attention. But all I'm just saying is that you need to be aware that this may happen and just have it as your little routine to always check. So on this channel, I teach a lot about elegance, about styling, but I also teach a lot about elegance mistakes, styling mistakes, and so on. Simply because I have learned it the hard way and I have made so many of those mistakes myself. Which, by the way, you can get some insider scoop in this exclusive video if you go to levelupsecret.com. This video is not public, it's not on my YouTube channel. You can only watch it if you gain the special access. But the good news is it's free to get this access. So go to levelupsecret.com and get your invitation. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I believe the time is now to do so. Now what I wanted to say is that this channel is focused a lot on mistakes because I have made many of those in my life. So I can really speak from experience. And one big mistake that I have shared on my channel is how I used to have awful, long and thick and pretty disgusting eyelashes in the past, which is what point number six is about, is that if you wear fake eyelashes, which some ladies, if you want to wear them at night, sure, go for it, as long as it looks natural and decent. It is not an elegance mistake not to ever wear fake eyelashes but it's about how do you present those fake eyelashes make sure they're perfectly glued to your eye because one thing that we see a lot with ladies is that the eyelash you know that one big piece is not entirely glued on you always have that little bit on the corner or in the inside corner that is poking up because it's not fastened properly and this is something that maybe is not seen to you, the wearer, but it's seen to the rest of us. And you need to pay attention to these small details because they give away and they cheapen the appearance of someone when a job is simply not done correctly. You know what I mean? Point number seven, blush that is not blended correctly. Instead, this blush is just applied like this and it's really strong and eye-catching. Almost a bit like 80s style. Some ladies do that because they're stuck in the 80s, but I do think that your makeup should always be blended. Of course, makeup mistakes happen to all of us, but try and blend it so that it looks natural and part of the rest of your makeup. Number eight, another mistake commonly made in the 80s. <laughs> we have hair that doesn't have much movement, <laughs> meaning that you have applied so much hairspray in your hair that it's there, static. It doesn't move. <laughs> you look a bit like Mozart. And ladies, that does not look good because the whole point of beautiful hair is that it has movement, it has shine, it has luster, and it just looks healthy and real, not like you're wearing a stiff wig. Point number nine. Not everyone's gonna agree with me, but I guess many of you will. But I must say, this is a personal pet peeve of mine because one thing that I personally really don't like when we're speaking appearance and hair-wise is hair color that is not found in nature. Meaning, you know, some crazy color like, I don't know, pink, green, blue, purple. Okay, green is found in nature, but you know what I mean. The worst for me, I don't know if any one of you agrees, but I find this look to look so incredibly kind of unkept. It downgrades the entire appearance. When someone has, let's say, blue hair, which is grown out a bit, and you have these dark roots that matches it. Or let's say you have colored your hair once upon a time in pink color, and then you have the dark roots coming out and the pink is starting to be washed out. <sighs> I don't know. To me, it looks unkept. It looks almost a bit dirty. I know we are in times where everyone should be so creative and artistic, but I think there comes a limit to what looks put together and what doesn't. And for me, personally, that doesn't look put together. If you want to look good in your hair, then you have to have a good hair color. And I do believe that keeping it as natural as possible is the key to hair success. Number 10. You know what's beautiful makeup? Is when makeup doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. That's why the famous term, no makeup look, is so popular. Because your makeup should technically be kinda invisible, 
I mean, yes, people see that you're wearing something, but they're not focusing entirely on your makeup because it's so cakey, it lays so weirdly, it has creases everywhere, it has these thick layers. Point number 10 is all about not having cakey makeup. And unfortunately, it's very distracting when your makeup cakes up. And I personally think that if your makeup skills are not that advanced, I rather wear no makeup than wear cakey makeup. Wear makeup only if you're able to apply it correctly. Now good news, YouTube is a psychic and it knows what video you should be watching next. Now, I wonder if YouTube is a good psychic, but only you will know that after you click on this video and find out what YouTube wanted you to watch after this video. I will see you there.